gone. Mark Waugh giving himself some room and attempting to cut. Might have got an underneath edge, but all that matters is the leg stump is flat on the ground. Just the start India wanted. He was probably fooled by the length there. He expected the length to be shorter. In the end, it was not as short as he wanted, making room for himself. Had the length been shorter, the bounce would have headed the ball safely off the stumps. That wasn't the case. Mark Waugh gone for five and the first wicket for India. 16 for one, Australia. He's bowled him clean, bowled him. Stumps all over the place. Warren trying to smash it away to mid-wicket. It's hit the top of the stumps and the bales are going flying in all directions. Well, we're getting down to the last rights here now. Shane Warne has been out bowled. Glenn McGrath is the next man in and he's number 11. Second wicket for Srinath and in identical fashion bowled. Mark Waugh was his first wicket. The batsman was trying to make room for himself to play on the offside. This time Shane Warne making room to play on the leg side. But both times Srinath the winner hitting the timber. Right, well, Glenn McGraw is out there, and uh, Javagal Srinath has just struck, and uh, inside doing has gone past Kapil Dev in terms of wickets taken for India. He's now number two. There's the delivery. It knocked back the leg stump, and uh, he now is number two to Anil Kumble. 2.54 wickets, and uh, that's the end of Shane Warne. He was trying to hit that one over the stand, I think. But uh, a little glance back to the stumps told him that uh, it hadn't worked out that way. A bit too quick for Shane Warne. Srinath making a comeback to one-day cricket and achieving a landmark. Oh, and uh, he's decided to give uh, Glenn McGraw a bit of his own. Yes, <laughs> Glenn McGraw looking down towards square leg there as if uh, he's getting ready for the next one. He's going to hook this one into the crowd. Pigs might fly as well. Norwell bowled right in the block hole, and he's given him out on the move. The umpire's on the move. He's given him out LBW, and Glenn McGraw gives him a huge blast as he goes past him. Well, well that's interesting. The Indians all gathering around now in the centre. How did you see that one, Sanjay? Well, this is something very unusual for me. The Indians huddled together. It's something I've seen the Australians do, but it's time for the Indians to do that act. Batsman beaten for pace, good Yorker, but that would have carried down the leg side if you ask me. But the umpire thought otherwise, uh, he was trying to take a position for the run out. But uh, just raised his finger in time. So 255 all out, Australia chasing a score of 315. Indians definitely the winners today and by far. They've continued their winning spree against one of the best sides in the world, and that's great news for Indian cricket.